How to Publish a Website on Swarm, a step-by-step -step guide. This guide shows you how to host a censorship-resistant website on Swarm's decentralized storage and how to connect it to an ENS domain to make it easily accessible for users. First, download and install the Swarm desktop app. Next, add XDAI, which is used for transaction fees, to your node wallet address. If you have XBZZ, which is used for storage fees, you can deposit it alongside the XDAI. Otherwise, you can exchange your XDAI for XBZZ using the Swarm Desktop app. Follow these steps to deposit funds. Launch the Swarm Desktop app and go to the Account section in the left menu. Transfer XDAI to your node wallet address. 5 to 10 XDAI is enough. After funding your wallet, click the Top Up Wallet button on the right side of the screen. Select the Use XDAI option. Verify your XDAI balance and click Proceed. Specify the amount of XDAI to be converted to XBZZ and click Swap Now. Your node wallet address will be credited with XBZZ. Your node address is now funded with XDAI and XBZZ. However, to download data from Swarm which exceeds the free limits set by other nodes, you will need to transfer your funds to the checkbook contract address. Follow these steps. Go to the Account section in the left menu. Select the Checkbook tab in the top menu. Click the Deposit button. Specify the amount of XB to deposit it into your checkbook to be used to pay for downloading from Swarm. To publish your website on Swarm, follow these steps. Navigate to the Files tab. Click the Add Website button. Select your website folder. Note that the index.html file should be in the root folder. Purchase a postage stamp to publish your page. Note that postage stamps cover storage costs for a limited time only and need to be topped up in order to keep the data on Swarm. Upload the website files. How to connect an ENS domain to your website. Associating your ENS domain with a Swarm hash allows for your website to be accessed through a memorable domain name rather than the lengthy complex Swarm hash itself. Initially, you'll need to register your domain name. To register and manage your ENS domain, you can use the ENS domains DAP along with the MetaMask browser extension. After registering your name and connecting MetaMask to the relevant Ethereum account, set the resolver to use the public ENS if you haven't already select the name you want to link to your Swarm content. Click on Add slash Edit Record. From the Add Record drop-down menu, select Content. Enter your Swarm hash, beginning with the bzz colon forward slash forward slash, and click Save. Your website is now available on the specified domain. Update the website, set up and update a feed. Swarm feeds allow you to easily create a permanent address for your content stored on Swarm so that you can update it at any time. If you plan to update your website in the future, it's recommended that you set up a feed before uploading your website to Swarm. This way, the Swarm hash connected to your ENS domain will stay the same, even as you change the content behind that hash. This will enable you to update your website's content without changing the Swarm hash and incurring Ethereum transaction costs each time you do so. Navigate to Account. Click on Feeds in the top menu. Click on Create New Feed. Define Identity Name. And click Create Feed. Upload website on Swarm and connect it to the feed. Choose the feed you want to update. Click View Feed Page. Click the Add Website button. Select your website folder. Note that the index.html file should be in the root folder. Add postage stamp to publish your page. Note, postage stamps cover storage costs for a limited time and need to be topped up in order to keep the data on Swarm. Upload the website. Upload the website to Swarm. Connect feed hash to ENS domain as described before. In conclusion, this step-by-step -step guide has provided you with a comprehensive understanding of how to publish and update a website on the Swarm network using the Swarm desktop app. By following these instructions, you can now leverage the benefits of decentralized storage, maintain a censorship-resistant website, and make the website accessible in a user-friendly way by connecting your site to an ENS domain. Thanks for watching.